Is our light okay? Looks okay to, to me. You want to turn this off? Well, you can turn it's a little bit to the side. Bright. Too bright? It's too bright. Okay. Yeah, I have a lot of light things. Hello! Hi! Yes, Karen Ann Rayab. Karen Good Ann morning Rio. po sa inyo, Doctora and Sir Jack. You just won 5,000 pesos, Karen. For the first time, it's Karen. So, sorry na lang, Sean Krisha. I know you're there. I'm so sorry you didn't win today. So, congratulations. Miss Karen for winning 5,000 pesos. Okay, so before we start everything else, I just want to say hello to everyone. Hi, Miss Annalisa Dison Caparas, of course. Oh, yeah. My very good friend, Alice D. Jose, of course. Back. And Kumisol Cruz. Annalisa yes. was a significant recovery from stage 4 liver cancer. Uh, yeah, but she has to give her testimony. Yeah, that, Ate, that was Ate, nice, Annalisa, Ate. you have to say mm. hello first. <laughs> So, Miss Teresa Cacafranca is watching right now. Miss Edna Gillen Abbey, of course. AJ Rekisha is watching. Of course, always kumisol, always saying hello to me. And Princess Esguera by Lones Baligna. Yes, those are my staff. Lisa Basco. Miss Susan Yusi. Hello, Miss Susan. Hmm. Okay. In fact... Mom, do you want to make a signature right here so Mom Susan knows exactly what it looks like? No, no. <laughs> Hello! Hi, Mick Mick. Hello po sa inyo lahat. So before we start, I wanna, we want to do a disclaimer first. Okay? All right. All right. The watching and interacting with this video does not institute or uh, constitute a doctor-patient relationship with Dr. Farah. The information being provided by Dr. Farah should only be considered for education and entertainment purposes only. If you feel that anything you see or hear may be of value to you on this broadcast or on any website or other medium of any kind associated with Dr. Farah, uh, you are encouraged to and agree to consult with a licensed healthcare professional in your area to discuss it. If you feel you're having a healthcare emergency, seek medical attention immediately. The views expressed here, some of the views and opinions of Dr. Farah and myself and as such are protected under the First Amendment. Dr. Farah is a highly experienced medical doctor, not some blind enthusiast promoting the wild and unrestrained use of nutritional products for health issues without evidence of therapeutic benefit. She has personally and keenly studied everything she recommends, and more importantly, she's closely observed the reactions and results in a clinical setting with patients countless times. And you're certified by Harvard University in evidence-based <laughs> nutrition. Thank you very much. That was a good goal. Okay, that was a good disclaimer. So before anything else, um, I just want to remind all of you that drfarah.com, that's our official website. It's out there. It's D-O-C-T-O-R. Yes. F-A-R-R-A-H. Okay, for everyone who's uh, still asking me. You have to spell it? out doctor, yeah. then spell out doctor, and then Farah. Yes, and then Amazon.com, mm -hmm. it's shipping worldwide. BostonC.com, also if you're in Phil, Dr. Farah, that brilliant skin essentials, that PH, or you can always private message Elijah C. Cruz. He's always accessible. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, my good friend, hello, I want to say hello to you, Glenda Victorio. And if you are in Hong Kong, China, in Hong Asia. Kong. And Asian countries like uh, Singapore, Thailand, mm -hmm. uh, Indonesia, you can always private message Mr. Gil Matani. Okay? Mm -hmm. He's always there. He's he's uh, he's very upset. He's he's a good man. I don't think he ever sleeps. Yeah, I don't think he sleeps though. No. He's always yeah. No. So if you're in that part of the world, always private private message him. And I he's sometimes always suffer from insomnia. Yeah, but I'm not suffering from insomnia. I'm usually <laughs> sleeping. Okay. So next is Nick Vargas. So Nick Vargas is the one responsible for o Oshana. Naunanda. Yes, Oshana, like in Papua New Guinea, if you're not familiar with those type of countries in Papua New Guinea, in New Zealand and Australia. Like mm -hmm. I want to go in New Zealand one time. Huh? I would love to. I'd like to go to Habitat. The Habitat, yeah. right. I'd like so, to, to see where people live who are as tall as you, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> that's one in our that, that's actually one in the list of our bucket list oh yeah so we will probably go there next time but if you're in those part of the country always private message Mr. Nick Vargas you want to know what the first on the list is what buy a bucket buy a bucket buy a bucket <laughs> and then we're gonna do a bucket then we'll list. do a bucket list yeah However, if you are in the Middle East, okay, so you just private message Arseli Kulaban, yes. And if you are in UK, 
and in other parts of uh, Europe, you can always private message Butchoy Amor. Yes. And, and Amazon. Yes, or in Amazon, of course, if you're Amazon ships problem. all over the world. So my book, my first book, it's still one of the best seller. Uh, the best seller. The best seller in Phil. So it's Dr. Farah's book of natural home remedy. And if you're having problems uh, getting a copy, please private message Miss Chi Balmaceda Gutierrez. Oh, lagi naman yan nandiyan si Miss Chi eh. And uh, of course, all of my assistants, Kenjaya, Princess, Sheila, um, Chris, and Mick Mick, they're always there to help you. Also, KG Well. So, and my second book, it's gonna come out soon. Are you excited, Daniel? I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah, it's uh, doing the artwork right now. Mm -hmm. So, hopefully, I don't know, Miss Chi, probably this year or early next year so we'll just hope for mm -hmm. that okay so thank you very much for um always patronizing the dr fire products ito po ito po yung aking uh, latest this is the latest product that we have the dr shake this is really good and we point. will be giving three dr shake no way or, more. <laughs> or more we'll see so uh, to every one of you who will answer my question no, no 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 Mm. Not to everyone who Not will to answer. everyone, okay. <laughs> to the, to the first, first correct one. answer. Okay. So Dr. That's Shake. why I'm here, guys. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Shake, look at that. That's that's a good product. Mm -hmm. This is actually a patented product. What what is patent, honey? That means uh it's that good. That, it is uh, we that went good. To the, we uh basically had gone through the patent process. Mm -hmm. As far as that uh, product's concerned. To protect it. So correct. this is made up of grass extracts. Uh, natural, Grass juice extract. Yes, natural vitamin C, uh, organic oat bran, uh, super beta glucan, mushrooms, probiotics, uh, premium berry blend, power blend, antioxidants, cleansing and tonic support, adaptogen formula, and spice blends. It's all at the back. So, kapag ka, if you missed uh, most of that, nandito naman ho sa likod. I agree. Okay? So, <laughs> so, I told them that if they miss most of that, nandito all the ingredients are actually at the back of the label so you can just always read it i, I just saw someone say hi doctor and sir jack but the, the writing appears to be in chinese ah. so i hello <laughs> <laughs> to your name i don't know how okay. to say it so before we start i just want to say um i'm so sorry about what happened in phil okay oh, the, do the you remember yeah the earthquakes it's terrible mm -mm. i think it's around 6.5 yeah, or 6. there's been yeah. several of them several aftershocks mm -hmm. that, that's strong three it's a tragedy do you remember your earthquake yeah. When you were young, yeah. you had the I remember the experience. first time I, I remember the first time I kissed you. That was a big earthquake. <laughs> no, aside from that. <laughs> oh, when I was a kid. Uh huh. No, no, I don't. Or remember. when you're an adult, you know, did, did you? I remember have the there were there were a few times when I was over in Phil where mm. things would be moving a bit, and then years uh -huh. ago when I was in San Diego, you know, my cupboards were shaking and the glasses were shaking, but mm. it was never it was never anything like what the folks in, in Phil experienced. Mm -hmm. Especially in Phil, yeah. unlike here, because you're here in the first world country. Correct. Okay, in Phil, where it's very difficult, you know, to have a building erected or to have it built. Yes. So, and not the construction there is not as a good. Oftentimes, okay. yes. Oftentimes, yes. One of the things we, we saw going on in Phil, obviously, like, for example, with the road, mm -hmm. road construction. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you'd see all this rebar show up. Mm -hmm. And then somehow <laughs> the rebar didn't make its way into the road. I know, right? You know, they would just put little, little tiny pieces of rebar in the road to, to like give the appearance uh -huh. that uh, that it was being properly done. Very, it's heartbreaking. It's yeah. heartbreaking to know because yeah, I saw people, all of people the pictures. Cut, you, when you cut corners like that, uh -huh. you know it can cost people their lives when you're doing substandard construction. And then when there's a calamity that and then, comes then when in, there's a calamity, you know everybody wants to run and hide and say it wasn't me, it was him, it was mm -hmm. him, it was him. It's like no, no, no. Always do your best. No matter what we do in this life, always choose to do your best and do right by people. Mm -hmm. That way you never have to look over your shoulder. Yeah, so for all of those uh, uh, Filipinos that have been afflicted with uh, you know, the, the calamity that came last time. Mm, terribly, I'm so sorry po. Sorry yeah, that. so I feel for all of you, my heart goes out to all of you. Yeah, so sa sana po makarecover kayo kagad. Okay, and I think the uh, uh, Duterte, it's, uh, our president Duterte is actually helping. 
So, this is the time to build, uh, not to tear down, di ba? So, kasi makikita mo naman lagi yan eh, pagka sa, pol- sa politics, di ba? Left and right, everyone will see whatever they want, you know? But this is the time to hold the hands, to build Mindanao again. Okay! So, mm-hmm. I'm so sorry again po sa inyo dyan na naapektuhan na po ng lindot. Hello, Benetic Bench! Hi, Lodi, Sir Jack. So, he's saying that you are his idol. Why? Yes. I'm just a man. So, Mar Hufana saying hi, Pudok. Of course, Cecil Castro saying hello, Pudoktora, Sir Jack. And Marizak, okay, he's asking for uh, fatty liver. Okay, uh, before that, okay, before everything else, I just wanna uh, say, uh, I wanna tackle one very controversial topic right now. Kasi because... A couple of days ago, there was one follower who was asking, Doctor, can you talk about meningococcemia? Oh. I remember when that meningococcemia came. It's a it's a bacterial disease, okay, of the blood mm-hmm. by Neisseria meningitis. Everyone was so afraid of it because it's so infectious, okay. So, but we're gonna talk about that, okay. We're gonna talk about meningitis first, and then after meningitis, we're gonna talk about meningococcemia. Yung nakakatakot, di ba? So, what happened is that if you're gonna ha- if you have a meningitis, okay, this is usually caused by a bacterial, so viral and a fungal infection. So, hindi po lahat ng meningitis is caused by a bacterial infection. Grabe naman! Yes. Majority is a viral infection. And you usually, we usually have those types of bacteria, those types of viruses inside our body, but it doesn't infect us. Well, that's why okay. it's very important to always have a very, very strong immune system. Because mm-hmm. these things are constantly out there and, and you know, affecting us and trying to invade us. Yeah, even polio. Yeah. We all have, we, <clears throat> some of us can harbor the, uh, the virus. Some be of carriers. Us, yeah, we can be carriers, but we can, we are, if our, stro- if our immune system is very strong, madali lang sa atin yan. And we will not be uh, we will not be infected so it's very important that we um, consider having a great nutrition uh, kasi sabi yep. ng ibang literature if you have a great nutrition if you have a perfect nutrition uh, most types of illnesses can be combated by a perfect nutrition the, the problem is we do not have a perfect uh, nutrition and some doctors if you ask them what is a perfect nutrition they do not know how to answer. Correct. Well, yeah. but but you, on the other hand, Mom, you are <laughs> Harvard certified now in evidence based nutrition, so I think you can probably accurately answer that question. Yeah, but but it's uh to uh, to talk about that it's gonna take a while. Oh, right. I think the one hour is not enough it's to not talk enough. about the perfect nutrition because perfect nutrition starts from the soil. Uh, ano yan eh? It's a it's um um the community is involved uh, starting from the farmer the farmers mm-hmm. are the ones that are responsible mostly responsible because they are the ones that cultivating the soil so kung if you have a farmer that is irresponsible like so, someone burning burning out mm-hmm. the soil so irresponsible when they're trying to grow their uh, <clears throat> crops then of course the people that are eating those crops are also affected but probably in the next uh, FB Live, we'll talk about what is a perfect nutrition. So, going back to meningitis, so usually yung virus, bacteria, or uh, fungal fungal uh, organism, they would go to the meninges. So, the meninges, that's the covering of your spinal cord and of your brain. So, they get inflamed. So, nagkakaroon po yan ng inflammation and if of course if you have inflammation the classical signs and symptoms of fever headache so it's all there nagkakaroon ng local rigidity and they are usually treated if it's uh if it's a bacterial infection they're usually treated with a antibiotic mm-hmm. yeah so but the <clears throat> other types if it's a virus it cannot be treated by uh, an antibiotic. So if you have a viral infection and you are prescribed an antibiotic, you simply need to Mm-mm. ask why. Um, because it will, it will not. It will not help. Not help at all. But the thing is, this is this is what most doctors are thinking. Because if you have a viral infection, you are immunocompromised. Mm-hmm. So if you are immunocompromised, you are most likely to have a concurrent bacterial infection. So they would uh, also give some antibiotics. 
along the way. As a prophylactic yeah. measure, which is not a smart measure. That's mm -hmm. what leads to antibiotic resistant bacteria. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what about meningococcemia? So ang meningococcemia naman po, it's the bacteria, Neisseria meningitis, yun po yung bacteria, it goes to the bloodstream. Okay? And then you would have clotting uh, factors difficulty. So, nagkakaroon ka na, that's why you have rashes, diba? So, you have the typical purple, purple, greenish, bluish uh, rash all over the body because it affects the blood primarily, meningococcemia. But that's a rare condition. Yun lang, it's very scary. Of course, of course, if it's a disease, whatever disease it is, if, uh, the the patient is immunocompromised, mababa talaga yung immune system, talagang nakakatakot. Oh. But for the majority of people, if you have a very strong immune system, kayang-kaya yan ng uh, ating pong immune system. Okay, so don't be afraid. We just have to be vigilant when it comes to that. And uh, Jehovah has given us all of the soldiers inside our body. We just have to fortify it with proper nutrition. So most probably, uh, next FB Live natin, we'll talk about perfect nutrition. And, and what is perfect nutrition? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about you, Sir Jack? What is perfect nutrition? <clears throat> well, basically, the, one of the major factors is uh, eliminating uh, as much sugar as possible from the diet. Mm -hmm. uh, attempt to go organic because there are people that will simply try and say, oh no, there's no difference in organic. Sorry, you know, that's not what the science says. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it definitively shows that uh, sugar is highly inflammatory. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and inflammation is a significant pre precursor as far as cancer is concerned. Mm -hmm. And organic agriculture has been definitively shown mm -hmm. in numerous studies mm -hmm. uh, to be uh, healthier than non-organic. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, you, you see a lot of backlash with that, especially with regard to studies funded by the United States Department of Agriculture because mm -hmm. uh, organic farming is typically more expensive to do. It's more mm. labor, in, labor intensive. You know, what you have to realize, that, that's, that's one of the reasons why in the United it's States... It's difficult to farm. Coconut oil is so mm -hmm. demonized because when you look at the vast, you know, uh, hundreds of thousands of square kilometers of farmland mm. through, across the U.S., it's not geared towards coconut mm -hmm. to make things like coconut oil. So, Sir it's Jack, geared, Sir geared Jack towards, is talking about sugar. Correct. It's geared towards making... Uh, uh. Uh, corn, mm -mm. not palm, so mm -mm. that uh, you're not going to promote something uber healthy like uh, or coconut oil from mm -mm. Going from coconuts. You're going to promote corn, mm -mm. corn uh, which uh, is made into animal feeds, which is made into ethanol, which is made into high fructose corn mm -mm. syrup. So the mm -hmm. sugar, okay, because the recommended uh, daily intake of sugar natin is sixty spoon in a day. But the thing is, do but you, if do you, you are, need to take but sugar? if you are in, but if you are here in the U.S., the average intake here is twenty two teaspoons in a day. So yeah. they're almost everywhere. Do you require and our it at body, all? Our body needs a small amount of sugar. We need it because it's a form of energy. But if you take it as many as you can, yan ang problema natin eh. If you're taking it as a uh, level, they are toxic to our body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we need it at a small amount. They, they are source of energy. Which can be achieved body. through fruits. Yes. Okay. So, I hope that I was able to answer about meningococcemia po and meningitis for all of you. Again, I just want to reiterate, important na we have a very strong immune system. Importante lagi yan. And we can achieve them through perfect diet, okay? Perfect diet and exercise, of course. And less stress. So, mamaya niya, lagi kayo na-stress. Saan niyo kukunin yung pera niyo? <laughs> Where are you gonna get your money? Okay. So, my first question to get the doctor shake, okay? What is... The neurotransmitter that is responsible for hunger, mood, and has a calming effect. Okay, so let's see. So the first one that will answer, what type of neurotransmitter is responsible for mood? Mood has a calming effect and is responsible for hunger in the body. Hello daw, Ellie Bellarmino, shout out. Sabi niya, 
Kat Katrina watching from Hong Kong. And Nina Martin, hello po sa inyo. Jem Rolf Knight Redilioso. Yes. So please answer po muna yung question natin for you to get Dr. Shake. What neurotransmitter is responsible for calming effect in the body? Ayan. Sana may makasagot. Christina De La Cruz Buan. Adioy, Renger, watching here in Cebu. No, no, Miss Lily, it's a neurotransmitter. Yeah, neurotransmitter po, hindi po part. Yes, bitch, Nagales, Ignacio, you won. It's serotonin, yes. So, serotonin. You misspelled a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> we'll overlook that. You still got it. So, serotonin, that is a neurotransmitter that is responsible for mood, hunger, and has a calming effect. Usually, it came from uh, an amino acid. Usually, uh, it's tryptophan. And you see this in Turkey, diba? Sabi nila, you have to eat a lot of turkey. Yan. Mali, mali, miss ko, miss all, not ghrelin. Yes. So, <laughs> hindi po ghrelin. Yes, it's actually serotonin. It's uh, secreted in the dorsal raffin nucle. Yan. Doon po sa mga uh, scientists or doctors there, uh, they're found in several parts of your body, uh, of your brain, your neocortex. Yan. So, you're also found in amygdala, hippocampus, uh, certain parts of the Brain, yeah. But they are also found in the blood. Blood and in the gut. So, serotonin. Diba, pagka may depression ka, uh, they will usually give you uh, monoamine oxidase uh, inhibitor mawis. They call it your SSRIs. Yan. So, Savannah Danton, yes. Watching from Subic. Yes. Ay, mali. Sabi ni Miss Lily Diego. Lynn, sub John. Watching from Pangasinan. Gian Marie. Hi, Dr. Para. So, Aming Vasquez watching from Hong Kong. Okay, let's answer most of their questions. Sure. Yeah. Con and, uh, some, congratulations. <laughs> we'll ask a few more, by the way, so stay tuned. Yes. Uh, someone's asking me, Mom, uh, what is the best for lung cancer? Uh, for lung cancer, okay, uh, last time they remember I was discussing about there are certain... Uh, conditions why you would develop cancer and most of it it's uh, an exposure to radon yan so mga gases po yan and uh, of course the most important is smoking uh, smoking asbestos exposure so you can also um, get uh, lung cancer from pollution yeah mm -hmm. so you have to remove yourself from all of that if you have uh, lung cancer and then, uh, for me, of course, you have to change your diet. Most important, because we know that cancer is, uh, they are sugar feeders. Mm -hmm. So, they love sugar. They have uh, 96 receptors for sugar. So, if you give sugar to the person, so most probably the cancer cells might uh, eat them. Okay? So, that's the first thing to do is to limit the amount of sugar intake inside your body. So, you can also... Uh, garlic, garlic, ginger, uh, siling labuyo, yeah, alagaw, um, also asparagus, they are good for lung. So there are a lot of literature that uh, says that they can help uh, lung, lung cancer patient to heal. Yun ang sinasabi nila. And of course, uh, if you want to try Boston C, Boston C can help. Boston C, one teaspoon, three times a day, pixie dust. 1 teaspoon 3 times a day and vitamin C, mega dose vitamin C uh, 1 teaspoon to 1 tablespoon once a day yun lang ho, you will have diarrhea if you uh, eat a lot of, you drink a lot of vitamin C that's really the side effect of vitamin C but it's it's one of the best uh, supplement out there that can help you if you're very very sick and it also and, obviously help with constipation yeah, it, it's gonna help you with constipation vitamin C um, I think we're just, uh, again, with all the FB Live, diba, na, nasasabi ko na po sa inyo, we are one of the few organisms 
in the world who have lost the capacity to make vitamin C. Internally. So, internally. But we used to make them. We used to make them. Nagkaroon ho tayo ng tinatawag na mutation in our genes. Now, we lost that gene. It's called the gulo, G-U-L-O. You can Google it later. So, tingnan nyo po yan, gulo genes. We don't have that anymore. That's why we lost the capacity to make vitamin C. Now, if you are stressed in a stressful situation, Diba? Nag-away kayo ng boyfriend mo o kaya nawala yung cellphone mo, na-stress ka na. So, one of the things that are depleted easily is your vitamin C. Yan. So, kailangan talaga you will supplement yourself with vitamin C. And this vitamin C, the ones that uh, I'm talking to you, they are in the form of ascorbic acid. So, not sodium ascorbate, not potassium ascorbate, magnesium ascorbate, diba? So, in those literatures, they just use so uh, uh, they use ascorbic acid. Yes. So Lori Garcia is asking, what's best for the nervous breakdown? Okay. <laughs> Did you have any nervous breakdown? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just was noticing Carlos Garcia uh, uh, saying cash. He wants to win some cash. <laughs> <laughs> so nervous breakdown. What is? Nervous breakdown. All right, all right. Hold, 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 hold on, quick second. Quick, quick, quick second here, Mom. Ah. Quick second. All right, uh, for 5,000 pesos, or $100 if you're ah. in the U.S., um, who uh, originally played uh, in Star Wars Episode One or Episode uh, Four, A New Hope, who played the role of Luke Skywalker in the first three movies? That's so easy. No, it's not. Who played the role of Luke Skywalker? Luke Skywalker? Who played the role of Luke Skywalker? Who's the actor? Ah, okay. Not so easy. Yeah, he said it's not so easy. I do not know. So, uh, while we're waiting for the right answer, I Who will say Luke for Skywalker, uh, nervous it? breakdown, uh, kava kava, yan. you make them as a tea. Kava kava tea, just drink it. It will uh, let you calm down. And again, serotonin, if you eat foods that are rich in tryptophan, so they can they can have a calming effect okay so katulad po na marami po yan just check the you can always google it uh, all of the foods that are rich in tryptophan most of them here Jonathan in the Domingo. US is turkey okay Jonathan Domingo Jonathan Domingo you won what's your there we go oh. Jonathan Domingo you won 5,000 pesos okay so congratulations Again, so... Kumasal Cruz, yeah. a little late on the draw. Yeah, sorry. It's sorry. Mark Hamill. Ay, Mark Hamill. I do not know who Mark Hamill is. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I know I know uh, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> you know Luke yeah, Skywalker. I, I'm not going to give you the answer. I know Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, about... Uh, there's someone who's asking about rheumatic fever. Mm -hmm. Okay, for that's that's actually a complication. Um... Usually, if you had recurrent sore throat, okay, so um, nagkakaroon po ng uh, interactions with the, if you are, it's always recurrent, nagkakaroon ka ng interaction dun sa puso. So, pumupunta yung um, nagkakaroon ka ng uh, uh, reaction sa heart mo. So, uh, if you have a rheumatic fever, so you will have palpitations and in the end, pwede ka rin magkaroon ng heart disease. Kaya tinatag nila, Rheumatic heart disease, RHD. So, usually, ang inaapektuhan po niyan, yung mga val valves natin sa puso. So, pagka naapektuhan yung valves sa puso, either they don't shut down completely, kasi kailangan mo siya shut down yan eh, or nagkakaroon ng flow ng blood going back. Dapat kasi pagka ang po, yung, yung, yung flow ng blood has to go up, has to shut down, tapos yung valves natin, tapos babagsak yung... Uh, magpo-flow yung blood natin. So, nag nangyayari, nagkakaroon ka ng valvular disease, yung blood, nagkakaroon ng tinatawag na pooling of the blood. So, hindi lumalabas lahat, hindi na empty lahat. So, they can uh, they can be stuck in the heart or pwedeng pumunta sa lung. So, pwede kang mahirapan huminga. Yan ang, yan ang magiging problem mo. Okay, for rheumatic heart disease, the best thing that you can do is to take honey and cinnamon and ginger kasi merong mga anti-inflammatory uh, properties sa mga yan uh, garlic has an antibacterial properties if you're uh, if you're still infected uh, with the bacteria 
So you can have uh, garlic. You can always take garlic. As many as many naman yan eh. So like what I tell uh, most people, if you are inflicted with a certain type of condition and you're taking herbs uh, for medicinal purposes, you have to take them five to seven times higher than the normal. Okay, as many as you can. Yan ang pinaka importante. And of course. Um, there's a possibility of congestion. So, pwede ka po kayo magkaroon ng... Hindi, hindi masyadong nare-release, hindi masyadong na-eject yung, yung fluid in the body. So, you need uh, some form of diuretic. And you can take lemongrass tea. Yan. Lemongrass tea, they have diuretic effect. Uh, tsaka ang gubat, yan. Meron din po riyan na, na properties uh, for you to pee. Yeah, as many as you can. Uh, also, pansit-pansitan. Um, uh, what else has a uh, uh, diuretic effect? Asparagus, it has a uh, diuretic effect It's as well. Bee. Yes. So, yan po yung pwede nyong gawin. Okay? If you are suffering from rheumatic heart disease. Okay. So, manuka honey is expensive. I didn't uh, see that. He said manuka honey. Someone's asking, how do you feel about manuka honey? Oh, well, the honeys, okay, uh, there's really no such thing as manuka honey. I think the honey is named after where they, the, the honeybees get their foods. Okay, so manuka is a tree. So that's why they call it manuka honey. So, ganyan. So, pwede rin magkaroon ng mango honey. So, especially when the bees are eating uh, in the mango tree. So, pwede ho yan. Um... It is expensive, yeah, um, but there's also some honey that are not, uh, that are least expensive that you can use as well. And they're also very effective. Hindi po ibig sabihin na if it's a manuka honey that that's the most effective and the other honeys are least effective. But the problem with honey is that some of the honey bees they are uh, being fed with sugar. So that's the thing that's very bad. Mm -hmm. So, but if the honeybees have been feeding on uh, plants, okay, on uh, flowers, um, on special types of trees, they are okay. Apa. So, siguro yung mga tinatawag nilang manuka honey, that's why it's expensive. Most probably, uh, for me, it's just marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, mga marketing tactics lang po yan to sell more. Because realize, yeah. realize when it comes to honey, who's doing all the work? It's all the honeybees. When are they paid? No. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but they're good. I have used them especially uh, because my children, because I used to have an asthma. So my children, they inherited my asthma. So I would usually give them honey with cinnamon. Very mm -hmm. effective naman po siya. Um, do you remember, right? When also with fever, whenever they would have fever as well, mm -hmm. we, I would just give them honey and cinnamon. Right. Yeah, and that's it. Um, as far as I know, uh, I have n not really given them any synthetic medication. Yeah. No? The last time I gave them synthetic was when they were infants. And I stopped. <laughs> mm -hmm. I stopped because it's not effective. Okay. It doesn't work. <clears throat> yes. Uh, ma gout, Mama. I've seen several people asking about gout. Uh, for gout, uh, the best thing that you can do for gout is baking soda. So one teaspoon three times a day. Just put them in water and you drink it. If it's not effective, you can also do parsley. Okay? So with the parsley, you can eat them raw or you can also um, blenderize them. Yan. Gawin nyo po siyang tea. Just eat them and then just drink it. That's it. Asparagus also. Cranberries. Yes. They, they are ve all very effective. Yes. So... Uh, what is the best remedy for swollen knee due to arthritis? So if you have anything uh, swollen in your body, this is effective. If you have a sw anything in your body, even in your skin, if if it's swollen, or Any, anywhere, mom, uh, really? Yeah, even <laughs> if it's a dermatitis, even if it's arthritis, even if you have a muscular strain or a muscular sprain. <clears throat> Just have the cabbage compress. Okay, so yung cabbage po, I have a video. Do you remember? I made a video about it. Yeah. So you can uh, put them in hot water. Kunin nyo po yung isang leaf, put them in hot water, and then just uh, compress it on the affected area. 
So if that doesn't help, you can also use coconut oil, coconut oil and chili. And then make that as a paste. Put it in your, in, rub it in the affected part. And uh, because of the capsaicin, that's the, that's the miracle worker in the chili. Capsaicin, it will numb. It has a numbing effect on the affected part. So always that when pwede rin po dito pagka masakit din po if you have headache. Also pixidas, pixidas is very good for pain magnesium, di ba? I have already told you magnesium it's important in 600 enzymatic activities in the body. So if you do not uh, supplement your 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 body with magnesium, the most uh, the, those 600 enzymatic activities will not move forward. And the enzymes, they're very important. Lalo na if, uh, if you have uh, some type of illness, tapos wala kang magnesium. So, hindi ka gagaling. Yes. And uh, magnesium deficiency has been proven to be a cause of some types of cancer like lymphoma, leukemia, mm -hmm. and many more types of cancer. That's why it's important to eat foods that are rich in magnesium. Kung meron man po kayong maintindihan with this FB Live, I think the thing that you should put in mind is magnesium is good. Fantastic for you. <clears throat> it's good for depression, hypertension, diabetes, migraines. migraines. Yeah. So, because I still saw several people asking about okay. migraines. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that was uh, a nice segue there. Yeah. Oh, uh, real, also, real. ginger. Ginger, if you have uh, migraines, ginger has uh, pain relieving properties. Real quickly, uh, real quickly. Mm -hmm. Um, mm. Since we're on the subject, mm. for, real quickly, for 5,000 pesos in the first three Star Wars movies, who <laughs> voiced Darth Vader? Name, what is the actor's name who voiced <laughs> Darth Vader? Ayan, oh, I think they like uh, money they rather like money. than, they rather like, than they like money uh, rather than Dr. Shake. Yeah. So we'll just give the one who won the Dr. Shake money as well. Yeah. Like, what, yeah. The, <clears throat> the, the dollar, dollar equivalent? <laughs> Miriam Franzen says yes, correct. I think he's, she's saying yes, correct. They want more money. Oh, I think she's Other saying. I think she's referring to magnesium. <laughs> Hi, Mimi. We miss you already. She's my good friend, Miss Mimi. Yes. So. You know what, what's answer. funny? I think every time you you know I ask a question like that, you see mm. these things trending on Google. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. So let's see who will answer. I I, I think they do not know. Best remedy for anxiety? Mm -hmm. um, well, obviously, uh, magnesium. Yeah, I already is told you about uh, anxiety. You can just uh, uh, watch this feed again. First, so middle, and know. last name. You're close, yes. Benedict Bench, but yes, Karen and Rio. Uh, yeah, who won? Karen and Rio. So Karen. James Earl Jones. So who won, Karen and Karen yes. and Rio. That's why I take a picture of stuff, guys. Yes. So Karen won. I think Karen was the first one. She's first one on. So yeah, she's... Also last time. So I think you, she won she's, twice she's, already. She's, she's killing yeah. today. Is that your favorite movie, Karen? But actually, Gumasaw <laughs> Cruz, that was going to be my next question, which you, you blew it for me. Yeah, just wait. Just wait. <laughs> no, no, I can't I can't ask it now. Okay, I can't no. can't ask that one. Okay, so Karen, yeah. So... Uh, is that your favorite uh, movie? Yeah, because I think she no, 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 no. It might be her favorite movie. You know, ours yes. is Back to the Future. I I used to watch uh, Back to the Future with my pop when my papa was still alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and last night we were watching Indiana Jones. Yep. Yes. Okay. I hope you like them. Mm -hmm. Hi, Miss Divine Soto. Hi, Doc and Sir Jack. Yes. So sorry, Ati Lori, you did not win. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, so um, they're Vertigo. talking about foods that are rich in magnesium. Of course, if we are talking about foods that are rich in magnesium, anything that is green leafy, yan. Kasi ang magnesium, it's a component of your chlorophyll. So without magnesium, um, you do not, you, the plants cannot make their own food. Okay, so that's why uh, the magnesium, it's... Uh, an in integral part of the plant's um, chlorophyll. Yeah, so all the plants that you can see, as long as they are green, they are rich in magnesium. And of course, nuts, yeah, nuts. My migraine aura, what is the cause? Yeah, um, my, of course, like and anything else, <laughs> they're saying even in hypertension, we do not know. No, literally, I, mean, <laughs> I, I can remember years ago when I had a migraine and I sat down with a, uh, a, a neurologist. 
And I said, so what exactly is causing this migraine? Yeah, we don't know. And I said, you know, we don't really know. I said, you gotta be kidding me. I'm having, I, I would just tell myself, yeah. really bad I'm having these migraines, you don't know what's causing it? No, we, we don't do really now. know. I said, but you're a neurologist. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to know this? He's like, yes, but we don't know. But there are literature that says, okay, but there are literature that pinpoints it to a food. It's a hypersensitivity <laughs> to a food, especially um, MSG. Okay, so glutamate, monosodium glutamate, which is an excitatory uh, product okay so usually uh, they would say that uh, you will you're having uh, migraine because of uh, food allergies so you might want to change the food that you are eating so for that also you can eat of course ginger and magnesium that's my favorite okay Lerma Lianes Camero watching from Barcelona Espana. yes Jimmy Banagua, dog cancer patient can eat nuts. Yeah, nuts are good. The problem with nuts, okay, and like everything else in the world, they are mostly contaminated like with peanuts, diba? If you eat peanuts, they're contaminated with uh, aflatoxin. It's a fungal toxin from uh, Aspergillus species and it can cause liver cancer it's very important that if you're gonna eat nuts make sure that you yourself prepare them kasi ang problem mo with the nuts sometimes diba one year two years right honey they are already in package they're not good for us but if they're prepared if you get them from the plant itself like in my farm i have a lot of pecans oh you yeah just get them, i'm excited about that you actually. roast it and then you eat them yeah i'm excited okay. about that because nuts are good, you know. But the problem with those nuts is that it's they have been processed already, process, packaged. So they have been packaged. You do not know if they are uh, prepared as uh, as uh, you want them to be prepared. Kasi lalo na yung mga yan, especially as Filipinos, di ba? Gustong gusto natin laging fried. We live with fried. What if those uh, things that they are using for frying, they are they have reused it over and over again. And of course, they're not good for us, especially if you use a vegetable oil that you use it several times. Oh, hmm. diba? Don't be thrifty. Ka dun. Magkakasakit ka dun. So, hindi mo alam. So, if you are there, you're, you're the one who's gonna get the nuts. Go, go see where did they, did, where did they get the nuts. How were they prepared? Those are the most important thing. Yeah. May expiration po ba ang Boston Sea? Yes. <laughs> so, if you look, um, of all of our products, they have something at the bottom. Okay, kita nyo na po yan eh. So they have a lot number. That's very important because especially here in the US, if they do not have this at the back, this is required by the FDA. So you know, and they have an expiry date or best before date. So makikita nyo po yan, Boston C usually it's two years. Boston C and the Boston C products, it's all two years. Mm -hmm. Yes! Herbal meds for pimples. Okay, I used to have tons of pimples also. But look at my skin, wala na po siya dyan. I used to go to school dressed like a pizza. Do you have, do you have pimples oh, as yeah. well? When oh, you yeah. yeah, pimples all over me. I look like a pizza. <laughs> Are they big? Oh yeah, it's terrible. Big, big gnarly ones. I mean, big nuggets. What I usually do is that Pushing I have your this. Nose. Yeah, I have this apple cider vinegar. So I would wash them with apple cider vinegar. And then I would put honey and cinnamon. It's a paste. Just put it in the skin there. And then let it stay for uh, 10 minutes and then wash it. That's uh, okay already. It will help you a lot. That's the one that I really use for my skin. Yeah, Benedict Bench is laughing at you. I don't know how. Yes. Um, herbal for myoma. Mary Kathleen Liscad is saying. Um, again, for myoma, the ones that I really tried and the ones that has given me such uh, an effect is... Um, the Mung Maria. That's the one that really helped me. And of course, uh, you have to identify what is the reason why you develop myoma in the first place. Kasi uh, in a normal setting, hindi ka naman magkakaroon ng myoma, di ba? So why did you develop myoma in the first place? And one mm -hmm. of the reason is your GMO, genetically modified organisms, xenoestrogen, 
endocrine disruptors. So I think there was a study that was done a long, long time ago, and I have said this many times already. Um, they did the study about with the GMO. They fed these rats with the GMO corn, and what happened was that after a while, they developed uh, kidney tumors, uh, uterine tumors, breast tumors. It's all there. It's all accessible, accessible in the internet right now. Just look GMO uh, experimental um, effects. Okay, so look at it there so you can see because uh, there's so many information out there. I cannot remember most of them, but I try to be as accurate as I can. Um, like me because I'm a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> So I've been, we have been uh, studying most of that in our meetings and they said that if you really do not give 100% give information to someone, most probably uh, you should not be giving it. So please look it up. Oh, kasi marami po yan, lalo na with the experimentations. Most of the things that I really re read, I cannot get most of it. Oh, that's just hardwired in our brain. Uh, lahat po tayo, not just me. Okay, Mom. Yes. For you now, I'm going to do a speed round. Okay. I want you to, to try and answer these questions as quickly as possible. So everyone listen close because I've been taking uh, been taking down many of your questions here. All right. Uh, hold on a second. First mm -hmm. of all, um, what do you use best for vertigo, Mom? For vertigo, I would use ginger. Ginger tea three times a day, as many as you can. Lupus. For lupus, uh, pansit-pansitan, uh, guyabano leaves, the mong maria, ginger, garlic, also you can use them. A uh, person was asking about they've been waking up for about a month with stiff fingers. Ah, it can be a form of arthritis, so you can use parsley for that. Okay, for uh, best uh, topical application for amputated toes. I'm guessing they're referring to the stumps and not the toes. Because <laughs> I wouldn't put anything on the toes if they're gone. Is there a wound? If there's no wound, if there's a wound, you can use honey, honey and white vinegar. If uh, there's no wound, you just want it uh, to heal faster. The best thing that you can use is zinc. Zinc also. You can just eat zinc. Drink zinc supplementation. Okay. Okay. Uh, best cooking oil. The best cooking oil for me is virgin coconut oil, always. Next. Mm -hmm. uh, hypertension. For hypertension, pixie dust, ginger, garlic, yeah, lemongrass tea, they can help. Hyperthyroidism. Uh, cabbage. Uh, Hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism, that's seaweeds. And? What are GMOs? Yes, GMOs, okay. I think I already tackled about uh, GMOs a couple of uh, uh, FBs ago. And again, GMOs, these are genetically modified organisms. Okay, so these are foods or not, not only foods, these are substances that have been altered genetically to suit a certain purpose. Like uh, the first GMO vegetable, uh, they call it uh, tomato. Uh, I think the name is flower saver. Yeah, flower saver tomatoes. Mm. Because they wanted the tomatoes to not freeze during winter. So uh, what they did is that they had this um, genes from a flounder which is found in the Atlantic Ocean. So they looked at this fish and how come this fish didn't freeze? Right? When it's very cold, how come they're not freezing? So they found these proteins uh, that is responsible for them to not freeze. So what they did is that the scientists extracted that uh, gene from this uh, fish and then transferred it to the tomatoes. So it was successful. It was successful. So they didn't freeze. But the side effect was the, um, the skin, the skin of the tomato, it become pasty tasty like so he didn't did taste that. like fish no it was tasty like <laughs> so they lost a lot of money out of that because mm -hmm. they weren't able to uh sell it to the uh to the market now the problem with a uh, gmo because these are synthetic basically synthetic so our body so when we eat them our body 
cannot we do not have the enzyme to break them down so mm-hmm. if we do not have the enzyme to break them down we can have some form of allergic reaction or ba? inflammatory response or inflammatory response because that's the first time in our system that we would just eat something that we do not know so that's why they would always have inflammatory uh, problems and of course with inflammation nagkakaroon tayo na some form of problem in 2004 they said that most chronic illnesses this was in times magazine they said uh, most com- the most uh, important illnesses out there right now is due to inflammation diba? even um heart attack brain stroke um cancer autoimmune diseases so they are saying that they are linked to inflammatory substances so we have to be careful we have to be careful with the food also with the things that we are putting in our skin kasi baka mamaya nagkakaroon na tayo ng allergic reaction so pwede tayong magkaroon ng sakit you're, you're prone to have dermatitis for something like that yes not done yet ma'am uh, ACL cute uh uh, 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 Anterior crochet ligament. No, 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 um, chemotherapeutic drugs that they got from that type of plant, okay, yung uh, periwinkle. So they use it, the uh, vincristine and vinblastine, that's the chemo drug that they extracted from uh, periwinkle. So it's very important to know. And we have that everywhere in Phil, diba? That's everywhere in Phil. And if you know that that uh, herb, that that plant is very valuable. Oh, even in diabetes, diabetes cough. Mm-hmm. So, even if that's the only plant you have, just make sure that the soil is clean. Kasi the problem with us, diba, aminin man natin or not as Filipinos, diba, we just throw trash everywhere. We contaminate the soil. Mm-hmm. So, I think it's uh, just to end everything here, um, I, I think it's very important to be careful, to be mindful of our environment. Kasi tayo din na nagsasuffer, we're the ones who, who suffers in the end. Oh, bakit ka nagkakaroon ng, bakit nagkakaroon ng bacteria dyan? Because of you, because you are, uh, or bakit ka nagkakasakit? Kasi hindi mo naman, you do not have any respect with the environment. I, I think it's high time for to be respectful of the environment mm-hmm. to see soil as soil and not as dirt <laughs> kasi mm-hmm. me i i get upset when someone talks about the soil they're just they're dirt i said no they're soil it's an it's a living if you look at the one one tablespoon of soil you look at them in the microscope there are tons of uh, microorganisms there are more living in a, in a healthy soil there's more living microorganisms in that teaspoon of soil than there are human beings on the planet. Mm-hmm. Imagine and and what's the purpose of those uh, bacteria? Bacteria, those microorganisms. Jehovah did not put them just there. Yeah. Uh, they, break, break down organic matter. To they, help, uh, they are meant there because Jehovah put them there for a purpose. Mm-hmm. And what was the purpose? To break down, to break down some organic matter, humus, tiba. Lalo mm-hmm. na po dun sa mga uh, agriculturist, katulad ko, <laughs> sa mga farmers na katulad ko, tiba. You you have to you have to make the soil. Um, we have to be responsible, people. You have a few more, ma'am. Okay. Uh, Miranda Jennifer has asked multiple times about uh, for autism. For autism, uh, I believe that autism. I'm not gonna say what it is really because I'm not. Uh, we're here in the U.S. We have to be very careful. We have to be very careful about that subject. Okay. So, with autism, for me, it's... Uh, not, not, that's not going to causative factors. Yeah. That's going to helping okay. the supplementation. So, what you can do is uh, probably, uh, if you're familiar with a plant known as horsetail. Horsetail. So, it has uh, horsetail. I do not know if Sir Jack can look at it. So look at it in Google. It's horse tail. So it's uh it's a plant that looks like a tail of a 
horse. Horse. Kabayo. <laughs> Nilig na. The rich in silicon. Silica. So, the silica removes the aluminum inside our body. So, they bind. So, aluminum and silica binds together and they are excreted in the body. And of course, um, if there's really some form of inflammation going on in the brain, uh, ginger can help you a lot. Ginger, um, that will quell all of the inflammation. Vitamin C, they are good for me. They are good chelators, okay? Mm -hmm. Some people, they will not consider vitamin C as a chelating agent. But, well, but look, me, I... What, but, is the, what is their training? But me, I consider... <laughs> what is their experience? But me, vitamin C, I consider as a very good chelating agent. So, maganda po yan for you. Hi, Tony Bowden! Tony Bowden! Must be out on the boat. Yes! Uh, you should come and see me. Yeah. Uh, got a few more, Mom. Neuro okay. Neuropathy. For neuropathy, uh, B vitamins, that's very important. And uh, you can probably get it from brewer yeast. Yes. So, if you're unfamiliar with brewer yeast, you go to the nearest health, uh, health store. They all have their... Uh, brewer yeast, uh, they're, they're rich in uh, B-complex, and uh, they're all organic. Just make sure that you choose something that is organic. Uh, Trisha, Trisha Salza, to answer your question, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> our, our, our children do not get those. Yeah, so Trisha is saying, is vaccine safe uh, to use for kids? Aside, we, that's a very, it's very dangerous territory to be commenting upon in this day and age. Uh -huh. Suffice it to say, uh, we don't vaccinate our children. But my children are not vaccinated. No. Uh, if uh, That's a thing that I can... Yes, Yaj Sorana is saying proud farmpreneur. Yes, yes, and she's doing like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I wish I I wish to see you also because I'm I'm also a proud uh, farmer. You know. Overactive bladder, mommy. Uh, overactive bladder is parsley. Parsley can help with the overactive bladder. Cervical stenosis. Cervical uh, stenosis, of course, exercise very important. You do exercising there. Uh, one of the things that you can do for your body, you can also use magnesium, ginger, or cabbage. Yeah. Cabbage compress, diba? Sabi ko na sa inyo, if it's painful, just put it there, cabbage compress. Substitute for prednisone. Uh, substitute for your prednisone is honey. Yeah, very good for inflammation. Uh, that, that can help you a lot. That's, that's the thing. I think for the most part of being a mom, mm. If there's one thing that I have in my in my pantry, it's honey. Uh, I can put it. I can put it in uh, in wounds. Mm -hmm. I can put it in my skin. Uh, I can. You can uh, let let it uh, let someone drink for cough fever. It's it's uh, really something that I have. And as a mom, I want you to know how great honey is. Yeah, Tiba back then we wanted to grow our own honey. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. But yeah. every, everyone around us, everyone was spraying pesticides. Yeah, so that's why the honey bees are dying. Well, you know, you, 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 yeah. you, you can start out with a hive and when two of them come back, mm -hmm. yeah. two. We have to be responsible, huh? I, the Filip especially the Filipino people, we have to be responsible. Yeah. So, fatty liver! So again, fatty liver, gar garlic, garlic can help, and mega dose vitamin C. Uh, the the key there is you have to have diarrhea. So if you're not having diarrhea while you're taking vitamin C, kulang, cool it's not enough. Uh, tuberculosis, because the person was asking, uh, I, you know, that was they were suggested to take the six month uh, dosage of medication mm. from the doctor. Well, I'm not telling you to stop it, <laughs> nope. but it has many side effects. Uh, the side effect can be uh, damage to the liver, uh, optic neuritis, so you can have problems there. Uh, what uh, you can do, because there are research that says that alagao is uh, very effective for tuberculosis, so you might want to try that, okay? So... But I don't want to tell you to stop it. Sonia Rodrigo, as far as tendonitis and frozen shoulder, uh, you should consider chiropractic. Or a cabbage compress or pixie dust. Or a combination right. of all. Yes, okay. Uh, hormonal imbalance. 
Wild Diam. Wild Diam. Okay. Before we stop, I want to say hello to Pauline Manlapas Cleroderma Doc. Okay. Just put a lot of uh, virgin coconut oil or olive oil uh, in your skin. Oh. Because these are also autoimmune diseases, diba? Scleroderma. Very stiff yan. Pati yung mukha mo, meh. Nakasmile ka. Nakaganyan na yung scleroderma. Diba? Diba? Okay. I have patients like, like that. Boston C was able to help also a lot of uh, people. Boston C, mega dose vitamin C, and pixie dust. And uh, ginger, of course, ginger. So which, which you know, just to, just wait, to wait, touch wait. on it. Jing, Jing, Magamit is asking about aligatong. Okay, this is. Uh, I think I've been asked this question for many, many times already. And again, I'm not against aligatong. The the thing with me, and I there's a lot of studies that uh, that says that they are also very good. But my concern is I have not used it. Oh, kasi po nung nandiyan pa ako sa Pinas, I wasn't given the opportunity to use it. Not because I don't want to use it. It's just I wasn't able to use it mm -hmm. because they uh I was uh, chased out of my country. Chased, chased out of the country. <laughs> yeah, but if I was given a chance, I want to use it. Yeah, I want to see mm -hmm. You know, as a scientist, and we were as, just really getting started over no, there. No, as people, as people, we should not be close-minded. No. Uh, lalo na, lalo, especially if you're very, very sick, and the doctor told you you're gonna die. You know, you just cannot sit there and mm. accept all of these words because no. you don't wanna die. You wanna live. Especially me, if someone will tell me you will die. How many there's times? There's no more. There's no more. And I want to live for my husband. I want to want to live for my family. Diba? You just cannot stand there and just. Diba? Lalo na wala naman silang sinasabi sa yun na hundred percent. Wala. Ito ibibigay ko sa yun ha. But there's no hundred percent assurance you're gonna get cured. Of course, I will try. I will try something. How many times have we had uh, people, their doctor tell them they're going to die, and then they outlive their doctor? Oh, they're, uh, how many times have we had that happen? Yeah. Right, Ate Annalisa. <laughs> at, at the Annalisa, she outlived her doctor. Yeah, Ate Annalisa outlived their doctor. But she she was given. But you know, she I'm, has to I'm, say. I'm still waiting on her testimony, but uh, <laughs> let me, if, if I can remember this correctly, Ate Annalisa was treated at my wife's uh, clinic uh, in the Philippines. I believe when she started, she had a, it was a 15 centimeter, mm -hmm. a 15 centimeter liver mass. Uh, and she was in obviously very, very, very bad shape. Mm -hmm. And it was a course that took, I believe, 23 months mm -hmm. of consistent treatment before that was no longer detectable, mm -hmm. undetectable. And that was what... But she has to say it though. Yeah, You're by the way, yeah, at the end, Lisa, I, I, I would really prefer you tell your story instead of me telling the story <laughs> for you. Hmm? Yeah. So just just to let you let everyone know what is possible. Okay. Um, so um, wait, wait, wait. again, I want to say. So, Auntie Eliza. So I want to say, uh, please go visit my website. It's drfarah.com, amazon.com, bostonc.com, drfarah.brilliantskinessentials.ph, and if you're in Hong Kong, Southeast Asia, Hong Kong. Gail Matani, uh, Nick Vargas is the one in Australia and New Zealand, and in Oceania, and Arsenicolaban, Middle East, Buchoy Amor, which is in Europe, yeah. And Chi Balmaceda Gutierrez, of course. Hello, Miss Chi. Yeah, I hope that my book will come out soon. I hope, yeah. So. In fact, uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do today. Ah. What I'm going to do today is this. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to have Henry my little son who's five years old, he's going to pick the winner on this next one. Okay. okay. Henry! No, no, no. Wait, I, I, he can't do it right now. <laughs> he can't do it right now. So it's going to be uh, starting right now. You, which don't is, wanna, you don't want your son here. Henry! No, 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 no. Okay. No, for the next, uh, for the next five hours, for the next five hours only, um, he's going to pick one person uh, who uh, makes an order at drfarah.com or bostonc.com and uh, he's going to pick them whoever he picks or they have to they have to have made an order in the next four hours or five hours or the next five hours they're going to win a hundred dollars 
800 is going to pick one person. Ah, okay. So if, if you need to get your product, now's the time to get it. <laughs> now's the time to get it. Okay. So again, thank you to all of you po sa mga nanonood. And I'll see you next FB Live. Yes. Thanks, guys.